And because he heard your cry, he's got to respond to your tears. God hears your cry and he will respond to your tears. Why? By giving you permission. You got to have permission to be vulnerable. You have to have permission. And he says there is power in permission. And y'all don't even understand the power of permission. Today, I am telling you, do not take what I am saying lightly. I, it's permission. Try it together to put it up. I heard the Holy Spirit say, you better not put that up there. Dr. Nick said, watch this. He said, because I gave you permission, watch this. And he said, because I gave you permission associated with this promise. Yeah, this is this is the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is this one. Yeah. 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 It's the last she favor. Yeah. Someone said, really? Go and get it out. It's the last she favor. Tracy said, no. Go and get it out. Yeah. Did, did you say the last? Miss Taylor, zero. 722, it's the last she favor. Tony saying no. Connie Brown saying wait. Miss Brown saying whoa. Someone is giving emoji. No, Pastor. Why? You are because I turn your morning into dance. It is the power of permission. It's a pet. This thing is so powerful. It's the power of permission. It is a powerful the permission. It, it, it's an authorization. But this authorization is designed and divinely orchestrated from God. See, there is a cause and there is an effect to life. And the effect that you're going through is because access was granted. I don't, I don't, listen, I saw God yesterday. I saw God do something. I said, God, dog, today, Lord. Jesus. See, he said, you know, Joshua, this is what I said. This is what I said. This is what I said. I said it. I said it. And I meant it. I meant it. Elder Michelle, you know it. I've got so many people that are around me. And she ain't going to be off the chain, y'all. But this is the last she favor. Everybody say, what? <laughs> yes, 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 this, Barbara, this is the last she favor, yeah, yeah, folks just got mad, Elder, they got mad, this is, this is the last one, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, this is, this one, yeah, 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 it's the last she favor, yeah, someone said, really, go and get it out, it's the last she favor, Tracy said, no, go and get it out. Yeah. Did, did you say the last? Miss Taylor, zero, seven, two, two. It's the last she favor. Tony saying, no. Connie Brown saying, wait. Miss Brown saying, whoa. Someone is giving emoji. No, Pastor. Why? Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go and get it out. We going, yeah, we going mourn together. What? Yeah, yeah. No. I said, well, hold on. No. Well. I enjoy being here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. I'm coming next year. I told, told, told you, Karen Brown, there ain't going to be no more she favor now. Everybody want to cry. Wow. Oh, Lord, no. Teardrops, emojis. Wow. Heart broke. Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I said, this is the last she favor. Because I've got to have my mind right. Because I want to live. Even though there's a team, the stress of it all, I can't handle it. And people, y'all know how y'all do a registration. Y'all know how y'all, and so what it does, it, it falls on me, Justine Gilliam, bless you. It falls on these shoulders, and y'all don't see the tears. Y'all don't see none of that. And yeah, we filled up the arena in Atlanta, and I said, no. And I begin to say, Lord, there's no way I can do this again. I love the people, but the people don't really understand. Jasmine said, I understand. And so I begin to consult my God. I begin to consult like David did. I, I begin to say, Lord, if you would give me permission. Mm -hmm. 
Someone said, I understand, Pastor, you're getting older now. Yeah, I'm getting older now, child. I'm trying to live. I said, Lord, and I said, Michelle, we're going to put it up, but this is the last one. And so, someone said, I thank you for five years. I said, Lord, now, you're going to have to help me with this. And I began to consult with the Lord over a slice of pizza. All I want is world peace and pizza. That's all I want. And I began to eat my pizza and consult with the Lord. And I said, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I begin to do what David did. I begin to consent with the Holy Spirit concerning this massive headache. And the Holy Spirit began to say, didn't I give you permission to have this conference? These women and men are coming. They crash and men will be there around the world. Yes, sir, you did. And he said, well, this is what we're going to do. And no sooner than I put the fly together to put it up, I heard the Holy Spirit say, you better not put that up there. Dr. Dick said, watch this. He said, because I gave you permission, watch this. And he said, because I gave you permission associated with this promise, I then have to provide. Ha, ha, watch this. Whenever the Lord gives you permission to do something, he will provide because it's associated with the promise. So it means that he has to give you access to access a measure of grace in favor to fall because the devil's foolishness was at work. Watch this. And so now David now is saying, I know y'all don't like how I feel and what happened, but God gave us permission. And if you can't go, stay behind. But there are some people that's going to rock with me through it all because of the permission they got. And because of the permission gave before the phone call went click, favor fell for next year. And I saw, I've seen the hand of God because he gave me permission. There is such power in permission until you don't even understand. You would not bear it when the pressure associated with the promise is present. David, he was crying. He was upset that he had lost. And somebody is upset you lost everything. But God said, because of the permission, I am going to give you access to the access. I've already provided the way for you to escape it. But I've always provided the way for you to obtain it all. Because of the power of permission. Permission is such a powerful thing. Go try to go to somebody's job right now and get through the door and you don't work there. See, that's why I got a problem with the school system because they should not have permission. There should not be easy access inside of the school. And so the world now has a problem because they cannot control the access inside of public properties or public things. But God says, watch what I'm going to do. There is something that I'm getting ready to deal with. I'm getting ready to deal with the access. Ah, let me go full. You can't have access unless I say so. You can't hurt my life unless God gives you access. He says, I will break your heart. To save your life. Do you know every heartbreak is permission? It is permission. It is permission. And you get upset and you put your whole life on hold because of a heartbreak that God gave permission. Because you said you was tired. Because you said God hears your cry. He hears your cry. And because he heard your cry, he's got to respond to your tears. God hears your cry and he will respond to your tears. Why? By giving you permission. You got to have permission to be vulnerable. You have to have permission. And he says there is power in permission. And y'all don't even understand the power of permission. Today, I am telling you, do not Take what I am saying lightly. I've seen God move. I've seen the Lord give a building to a woman that needed it. I've seen God. I've seen miracles this week that are it, 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 
if you think the divine revelation is something, check out the soil. Check out the soil. The Bible says that David pursued them. Pursue them. You certainly will take and exceed in your rescue. We are seeding today on 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel 30 and 8. And David inquired to the Lord, shall I pursue in this raiding party? Will I take them over? God responded, pursue them. He answered, you're certainly going to overtake them and you're going to succeed in your rescue. The Bible says that what he did is he asked, he asked God, I'm going to ask you. He said, now I'm going to give you permission. Permission shall be granted on every seed sown today. Today we are sowing 67 it is 67 it is the seed of 67 put the word permission put it on there those of you who said i want to do 107 you could do 107 because there's some people that say no that ain't nothing now that ain't everybody's segment of the message there's some people's like nah i i i'm in a good pay bracket and what you ask to sow in this ministry ain't nothing that ain't nothing that can't help the church and i understand that and yes i do understand there's some people who are financially able to do 107 do 107 and watch this powerful permission there's some that's going to do 67. Put the word permission on it. But everybody else, if you do 37 or 27, that is your right. You know what you're measured in your heart to give. Well, we're giving on permission today because nobody brings it to your attention that before the enemy was allowed to touch Job, he had to have a permission. He had to have permission just to consult God concerning what he was about to do. And there are people right now, you're about to do something and you need God to grant access and permission so that it shall be well and it will be well, but you got to get the permission first. The permission. People are like, what is she doing? I'm communing with God. It's the permission. It is a permission. And that permission, hear me, permission will fall on 67, permission will fall on 107, permission will fall on 21, permission will fall on 37. But God said, you know what you have and don't lie about it. Don't lie about it. Michelle Mon is 107. It's permission. It's permission. Those of you who are waiting for underwriters and, and stuff to be override, you need to fall, follow me with 107 because I need permission, God. And there are some things David understood it. He said, I am consulting God. David understood the power of the sacrifice. Everybody that we read in the Bible understood offerings. They understood it. They understood this. They understood sacrifice. Somebody need to sacrifice 107 because that permission is going to be given. You go, the underwriters, nah, they're going to they gonna sign that today then i'm not so it's permission somebody you done had two closing dates and you ain't closed yet your seed is 207 207 you got two closing dates and each one of them passed by you about to close finally because them underwriters y'all gonna get this right and you ain't gonna bring this back to my desk let that person close today but you got to get ready because they're gonna say we could close right now if you could get here if you could get here now. Hear me. Hear me. It's the permission. That access, that consent, that authorization shall be yours. I love you too, Adrian Robinson. Somebody just texted me from the Holy Land and said, I'm sowing from the Holy Land. Hear what I'm saying? This access shall be given. Go to www.carchronicles.org or dollar sign CCM 7777. Dollar sign CCM 7777. It's right now. The doctor says, I need, I, I need permission to perform this surgery. I need permission to perform the surgery. I need permission. But what you're going to see is there going to be another doctor that say, hold on, I'm not going to authorize you to do that because it does not have to be done, done so severely. Hear me? Shy Crenshaw, let it be so. And it ain't going to be no buy here, pay here. Let it be so. www.carchronicles.org dollar sign CCM 777. This is church. This is church. This is church.
Someone said, can I do PayPal? You can. This is church. Permission. It means authorization and consent. And God in heaven knows this access shall be granted. It is a divine consent from God. It's, the, it's a divine authorization. It is an authorization. It is a heavenly authorization that the Lord said it shall be well. Everybody gets upset when you don't deny. Deny. No, no is not a bad word. I tell my kids all the time, it's a safe word. But the Holy Spirit told me that it run through this whole house permission. And when I said, nope, I ain't doing this. The Holy Spirit said, I gave you permission to do that. Now, all that you need, my hand shall provide it. Now, next year, wait, where we going? The building is already waiting. It's already waiting. Already. There's actually two of them. Because he ain't going to let you fail. He ain't going to let you fail. You're going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Because in order for him to give permission, everything has to line up with his will. What about that? In order for him to give you permission, everything has to line up for his will. And it will. I love you. You guys have an amazing Friday. And tonight, it goes down at 5323 East Independence Boulevard, where Bishop Marvin Sat will be with us. Men, women, boy, girl, everybody. Bring families. Come on out. 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 We're going to have an amazing time. You are going to get the permission you need. The authorization, Instagram, shall be yours. The authorization, Facebook, shall be yours. The authorization, YouTubers, shall be yours. God bless you. God bless you.